Steve Bannon headlining Breitbart News push into radio. Steve Bannon, the former chief strategist for President Donald Trump, has accepted a job as permanent radio host as the company he heads as executive chairman, Breitbart News Network, makes a significant push into the medium. Beginning Tuesday, Bannon officially began his new gig on Breitbart News Daily, a three-hour show he co-hosts with Breitbart News Editor-in-Chief Alex Marlowe on a Sirius XM radio channel dubbed The Patriot, which also features shows from Sean Hannity and Mark Levine. Bannon is returning to the show after leaving it 16 months ago to join Trump and No. 39 S campaign for president as its CEO. After the former TV host won the presidency, Bannon joined his White House staff but left in August to rejoin Breit Bart. Breit Bart, founded by the late Andrew Breit Bart, is best known for its online news and opinion site where it regularly skewers the mainstream media along with politically active Hollywood celebrities who lean left, but it is beginning its push into audio and video. Insiders say a TV channel, perhaps digital only, is a consideration. As for radio, Ban in a number 39 semicolon s rehiring coincides with the announcement that the Patriot will now carry 40 hours of Breitbart content each week. Another new show launched Tuesday is Breitbart News Tonight, co-hosted by former Sarah Palin operative Rebecca Mansour and Joel Polak, Breitbart and No. 39 semicolon s senior editor at large. In a few months, Breitbart will launch a weekend show on Saturday and Sunday mornings, and the outlet is also developing a new show for Dr. Sebastian Gorka, the former deputy assistant to President Trump. Also coming in 2018 are shows featuring a variety of Breitbart talent, including Texas editor Brandon Darby, Washington editor Matt Boyle and national security editor Francis Martel. Everything I brought to the Trump campaign came directly from the listeners I spoke with every morning, Bannon said. From the moment I left the White House, getting back behind the microphone was very important to me. Sirius XM did not respond to a request from The Hollywood Reporter to outline which talent might be leaving The Patriot to make way for more Breitbart shows, though Glenn Beck was moved from the channel in May. Beck and No. 39 semicolon s relationship with Sirius XM hit a rough patch a year before that when the channel suspended him for a week after guest Brad Thor, a best-selling author, called Trump a danger to America who might have to be removed from office even if you want M. No. 39 semicolon t be able to do it through Congress. Thor acknowledged his comments could bring incredible heat and, indeed, some interpret it as an endorsement of assassination. Seven months ago, Sirius XM rebranded a former traffic and weather channel to what it calls Triumph, a channel now featuring Beck as well as shows that primarily deliver consumer and investment advice and are hosted by Dave Ramsey and others. 